Surprise. Hi, Libby. Congratulations. <laughs> Hi, Libby. So. Can you hear me? You're on mute. <laughs> <laughs> you would think I would figure Zoom out by now. Hi. Um, Hi. Welcome. This um, is like um, officially a Zoom mom, and I've never <laughs> participated in this before, but I'm excited. And Good. I wish that I had a filter. <laughs> All right. I have a little, I have a little something to say. Um, so as you know, I'm a member of the 2021 class of the Barbara Cook chapter of Mortar Board. And Mortar Board is a national senior honor society whose members are selected for their superior scholarship, dedication to service in the university community and outstanding constant leadership. Each year, the Purdue Mortar Board class selects three university faculty to become an, an honorary member of the chapter. The selection process occurs through a nomination by one of our active members and then a vote by our entire chapter. We are standing virtually before you today because the 2021 class would like to announce that our chapter has selected you, Dr. Libby Richards, to join our chapter as an honorary member. And then oh bear with me, I have a little bit left. <laughs> so Dr. Richards, um, you were selected to join our mortar board class because you have an undeniable passion for higher education. You advance women and you're making not only our commu Purdue community, but the world a better place. Your joyful spirit, positivity, and the kindness you give to everyone is infectious. You have the ability to make any student feel capable, loved, and important by offering your moral and academic support. We would love for you to be an honorary member because we know your passion for educating others, your caring and positive nature, and your approachability would be an incredible asset to our chapter. I feel so honored to be mentored by you during my time at Purdue, and I absolutely can't wait for the rest of Mortar Board to get to know you as well. Oh my gosh. So, welcome. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations. Sorry to stay up here like this. This is so amazing. Oh my gosh. I am so honored to know so many amazing students and have the ability to work with you guys. You are the reason why I'm able to shine. If I didn't have inspiration from the energy that you guys give me, there's it, none of this would ever be. You guys are the complete reason for why I do what I do and why I hope that I get to do this forever. <laughs> it's, it's absolutely true. It's, it's totally you guys and being able to continue to interact with, with you guys in this type of setting, it's just it's mind blowing. I wouldn't want to do anything else. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I think it's. Oh I think it's, my gosh! It's so fitting that um that not just the passion but the humility you display uh, even in this kind of circumstance. Um, I mean that's exactly why we're so excited to have you as part of our group here. Um, so uh, I this is my official welcome. Um, I'm the vice president of leadership. So, I, so uh, good to see you. Yeah, I hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, this is a, probably a funny way to catch up with you again, but um, <laughs> we're excited to have you as part of our group. Um, I, as the Vice President of Leadership, ran the process of uh, taking nominations from our class and um, ultimately deciding on three people that we selected as part of our group, um, and we're very happy to have you as one of them. Um, additionally, I think our President, Jen, is on the call if she wants to say hi real quick. Yes. Hello. My name is Jennifer Barson. Um, I was an Old Masters host when you were an OM. And so I got to experience <laughs> your very infectious energy, um, very inspired by you. And so we, everyone's so thrilled and we're so excited to have you. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I'm. <laughs> oh my yeah, goodness. I think, I think Colleen put it best. Um, I mean, we can't wait to see what, uh, not only hopefully we can, you know, give you a chance to meet more students and get something out of this, but also I think you'll add a lot to our group. Um, so normally when we when we have this tapping process, what we do is we'd have like 30 of us find you in person somewhere and I'll sing at you. 
Um, we're not going to try to sing over Zoom, but the National Chapter of Mortarboard has a recording of what the tapping song sounds like. So I'm going to play that real quick. <laughs> So yeah, usually there's 30 of us trying to do that for you, but uh, we'll let the, uh, the national chapter take care of that. <laughs> but yeah. Um, um, let's be clear. I am going to totally expect um, a song maybe in, maybe in six months when we're vaccinated. <laughs> we're going to make it happen. Yeah, awesome. and I also have um, a fun little mortarboard pin for you. So you were really hard to nail down. I don't know if you realize, but when we planned Friday for grads, talk about grad school, that was supposed to be this, but then it has to be on campus because it was a mortarboard event. So I tried emailing oh. your husband and I was emailing him back and forth. Oh my gosh, so he knows. Yeah, so I said, <laughs> a surprise. I said, um, like, just try to get me her schedule. He was gonna try to get you to Noi or Knoy. Um, and oh my like, gosh, he then, did try to do that. And I was like, I don't think you need me. I think you can do that yourself. Yeah, but then he told me you guys I was got, not that nice. <laughs> yeah, he told me you guys got COVID or tested for COVID. Yeah, and we did. So then I was just like, we're just gonna zoom or so this yeah. worked out, but. Oh my gosh. Well, luckily everyone's negative, but I do have a child who's on quarantine now until too long. So we're doing fifth grade, sixth grade at home for a while. <laughs> luckily Colleen Finn is still allowed to go to school. Yes. <laughs> so we're good. Colleen knows Finn. Um, this is so amazing. This was one of my bucket list items. I'm going to be real clear. Don't get, don't get sad. I didn't know that it was a possibility for me to be an old master. So like that was a real big surprise and totally game changing, but I knew that this was a possibility and was super on my career bucket list. So I am stoked and had no idea this was coming. <laughs> I am thrilled. I cannot wait to um, work with you guys and I will be um, as involved as, I'm, as, as you want me to and as my schedule allows. I'm completely shell-shocked right now. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. Um, we appreciate your gratitude. We're, we're uh, so grateful of anything you have uh, the time and the will to offer to us. So really appreciate it. Um, just so you know, this is, uh, oh, I don't want to play the song again, sorry. Um, <laughs> this is the uh, this is the class of the three of you that we brought on this year. Um, you're the last one of the three that we tapped. Um, ah! The others were equally as excited, although I don't think either of them said they necessarily had on their bucket list. So that's a new oh, one. I knew that um, this was something I wanted to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, plus, I work really closely with Pam Altenin, so mm -hmm. like she, we've always talked about mortarboard, and um, yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm sorry that I interrupted you, Phil, but I'm no, so you're excited. all good. So glad to hear it. Um, so, uh, am I getting? Yeah. So, uh, upcoming dates that, uh, and I'll send you an email in a couple hours that has all of this. Um, we actually have our next chapter meeting tomorrow night. Um, you're welcome to attend, uh, I would assume, virtually for you, um, and Jen can get you that information for our uh, Zoom call. And the other, two honors, the other two honors as well are going to be there, um, if that time works for you, and that'll be kind of a chance yep. for everyone to get to, you know, first meet you, and you can introduce yourself, and we can all do introductions of some sort. Um, but yeah, and then we'll have one more meeting this semester, uh, the week of Dead Week, and then um, we'll have initiation of some sort, hopefully in person in the spring. Uh, maybe that'll be when we get a chance to sing to you. Um, we'll see. <laughs> But um, I'll get all this information to you over email. Um, if you have any questions, uh, reach out to me or Jen or Colleen at any time. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Congratulations again. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I, mm -hmm. Colleen, you are tricky. <laughs> no freaking clue. I will apologize also to my husband because he really tried to get me to go help him with something at work. And I was like, it's a one person job. And I was like, I don't think you need extra people in your building. This is a pandemic. And he's probably like, woman, 
Oh my gosh, stop touching my camera. Oh my gosh. Finn, please stop. I have a seven-year-old asking me for dessert right now, and he's so close to me that I can smell the chocolate on his breath. So I don't really know why he's asking me for more sugar. But Pauline will understand because she knows Mr. Finn. Do you recognize us, Pauline? Hi, Finn. Hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, he can't hear you, but okay. Yes, go. One piece, go. Yeah, I want to get a brownie. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, that's all we have for you. Um, Thank you so much. So, congratulations. Oh my gosh. Um, can I have this Zoom recording when you have it processed? Yes, I actually just texted Phil to see if I could. I saw that it's recording. I was like, that's good for. Yeah, um, it should save my desktop, and I'll get it to you. Because sometimes oh, you think you do okay. a real bad job, and then you can hear something really nice like that, and you're like. <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Plus, I have to show my husband and my children. So they are like, oh, that's what that's what mom does. She, she's doing things. So yes, please. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Well, thank you so well, much. I think that's yeah, I think that's all we have. Um Yeehaw! Take care of your family. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Congratulations. Bye, Congrats. Bye, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow. Sounds good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>